does that word Asian mean to you? Is it me standing up here, Asian? Or is it most of you in this room? Well, unfortunately, to some people, Asians mean yellow. That's right, yellow. The all of Asia summarized into one word, yellow. So before we begin, I want to tell you guys a quick story. Now, a couple years ago, I was in the US. I was attending this summer camp. So naturally, what do you do on the first day? Icebreakers. Since it was a really international environment, the first few questions which came up was, where are you from? Of course, I was like, you know, hey, hi, my name's Chi, I'm Thai. This dude immediately came up to me and was like, oh, you're Thai, right? How is it like living in Taiwan? It must be really, really nice living in those Chinese looking temples. Huh? But then it didn't just stop there. Another kid came up and overheard our conversation. And he proceeded to ask me that, you know, you're a Taiwanese, right? Can you teach me how to insult people in Mandarin? What? That does, no, I don't get it. I stared at them with a blank face, a bit like this, for a good 30 seconds or more, and then came up with only one word. What? And after running it through my head of, you know, what exactly is going on, I reached the conclusion that, well, my newfound American friends have been severely misinformed about us Asians. They all have one underlying assumption, that all Asians are the same. So I had to ask them, you know, this all Asians are the same thing, you know. A, who told you about this? B, why do you believe in it? And C, you know, what exactly do you think about us Asians? How are we all the same? And the answers I got were, well, Asians are mysterious creatures. We have slanted eyes. We see in widescreen mode. We have yellow skin. We all do kung fu and calculus. And of course, we do all that for one thing, rice. I mean, after hearing that, I felt like an alien. Like, I don't even sound like a human being anymore. So I had to ask, like, come on, where did you get this idea from? You know, I'm human too, you know? And the answer I got was short and straight to the point, the internet. Now, I'm sure you all know the internet, you know, big source of information goes out to everyone all over the world. But the problem with this is, once it goes out to everyone in the world, it feeds everybody with the wrong kinds of information. This information that we Asians are all essentially the same. Now, I was still in disbelief, you know, still young and naive, still thinking that it's not possible. How can someone just listen to the internet and believe in such ridiculous things? I had to check it out for myself. And of course, the first thing I found on the internet, memes. Now, I personally spend way too much time on 9gag. I'm pretty sure some of you in here do it too. You can ask any of my teachers, they all hate me for that. So, what happens when you spend too much time on 9gag? Well, you get exposed to memes. Now, I know I sound absolutely ridiculous, you know, I mean, come on, memes. How can something so trivial on the internet degrade an entire race? But now, let me explain. Think about it. Like I said earlier, memes. You see them all over the internet. It doesn't matter what kind of websites you go to. You could be on YouTube, you'll find memes. You could be on 9gag, you'll find memes. You can be on Facebook and you might find poorly made memes, but still memes. Now with that in mind, I wanna show you some examples of quote unquote Asian memes. This is the first result you get when you Google Asian memes. Literally, the first result. And the second. Now, you get the idea. When these stereotypes are fed to you over and over again that, you know, 
my dad wants me to be a doctor. You know, I am a genius at math. Um, you know, I only eat rice and that's it. I'm made of yellow skin. It eventually sinks in. And just like those kids back in the US I met a couple years ago, eventually it becomes the undeniable truth. Most of you in here are still probably not convinced, you know. This kid is standing up here telling me about memes. Memes, come on. They're supposed to make fun of everyone. So why should I be offended? But that brings us to the second point. Do they actually make fun of everyone? If you do it against black people, you are a racist. You do it against Asians, you're funny, you're creative, you made a dank meme. So now, I know I've been going off about memes and it's not that convincing. They are only a trivial bit of the world, of the internet, of the media. But then moving on that, this does not only happen in the internet. The Oscars only happened a few weeks back. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard about it, you know, all the big controversy behind Oscars so white, you know, no black nominees, everyone's getting mad, people are not going. Well, I gotta tell you something. Those people who boycott the Oscars weren't the only ones who were mad. I was mad. And if any of you sitting in here call yourself Asian or identify yourself as Asian, maybe you should be mad too. And here's why. So let me tell you something about the Oscars. Chris Rock very well-known comedian, very successful and respected in his field of work. He hosted the Oscars. I'm sure you all know that by now. And of course, he had to address the issue of racial inequality to you know, calm the people down a bit. And I'm cool with that. You know, I think that was a really great move by him. But this guy spends the whole night going off about like, you know, how to treat people fairly, how race should be equal, and so on, so on, only to end the night with what he calls a joke. Rock introduced the audience to the most accurate, most dedicated, and most hardworking accountants who tabulated the Oscar scores. These three kids came up on stage. These three little Asian kids came up on stage. And of course, the audience loved it. Laughter ensued. Now you might think that, oh, come on, Key. It's only a little Asian joke about little math kids. I mean, it's a great thing, isn't it? We're saying Asians are good at math. They're smart. Great, you shouldn't be mad. But then, this is perpetuating a stereotype. My brother, for example, isn't that great at math. How do you think he would feel if Anybody approached him and said, oh, hey, dude, man, you're Asian. Why aren't you good at math? You're a failure at being an Asian. Now you know why it hurts, even if it's so-called a positive stereotype. But I'm sorry, I digress. It doesn't end there. Rock then continued to joke, joke, that if anybody was upset about that, just tweet about it on your phones, also made by these kids. You heard me right, also made by these kids. Rock, the host of one of the most prestigious events in the world, just pulled a joke about slavery. Not just any kind of slavery, child slavery. I don't know what I'm more appalled by. The fact that this guy who is considered well and respected pulled pretty much what is just straight up racism and call it a joke or the fact that the audience loved it. And in case any of you don't know what the audience include in the Oscars, we're talking top level celebrities here. That includes Leo, the guy was laughing a lot and cheering. It's unfair for me to put him on the spot. Everybody was cheering for this joke. So, why is it okay that Asians get laughed at at such an event and everybody thinks it's a casual joke? 
I need to remind you guys that this guy, Chris Rock, made a joke about that child slavery. It's just a joke. I mean, can any one of you in here right now come up here on stage, look at that, and laugh at it, and tell me it's a joke? Any of you? No? That's why I thought you're all still human. But nope, apparently the entire audience of the Oscars thought it was a great joke, you know? It was even put on as a highlight on people's magazine, on their Snapchat story, as a highlight of the night. Racism now against Asians is a highlight. Why is this acceptable? Is it because we've been doing it for so long? Is it because, you know, it's just Asians, who cares? Just a joke. I mean, come on guys, what century do we live in to make fun of racism and make it a highlight? Why is this acceptable? This is the 21st century. Wake up, world. So, I wanna look onto the point of Asian stereotypes and ask, why does it exist? And what are the main Asian stereotypes? And where does it even come from? So, as you all know, probably by now, first stereotype, Asians have slanted eyes. I'm probably a bad representative of this because I myself have really small eyes. But that's not the case with all Asians. And number two, all Asians have yellow skin. Yellow skin. Who has yellow skin? Has you, have you met anybody with yellow skin? Because if you have, then man, God bless your soul. Yellow skin. I'm human. I'm not a Coldplay song, all right? I'm not yellow. And of course, mathematical geniuses. The three main stereotype, which all pushes into one big sentence. All Asians are essentially the same. So now keeping that in mind, the three points I just told you, observe, these two are Asian. They're as Asian as Asian can get. One's Indonesian, the other's Indian. That's in Asia, right? I mean, you don't need half a brain to know that. And look at them. Do they have tiny widescreen eyes? Uh -uh. Are they yellow? Mm -mm. And mathematical geniuses. <sighs> Just look at them. They're idiots. So that just proves a point of how ridiculous the Asian stereotype is. I mean, think about it. The media says that all Asians are the same. All Asians have yellow skin and slanted eyes and do kung fu. Yet these two aren't. And so are around another billion people or so. So, if the media wants to perpetuate a stereotype of Asians being the same, could they at least be clever about it? Like, could you at least include all of Asia? Like, whoa, dude, that's a hit and miss. You missed about half of Asia. Like, I'm not a math genius, and that's a big amount of people you've missed out of this racist joke of yours. Well done. <clears throat> but then, I also have to ask myself before absolutely bashing the media for these stereotypes, all Asians are the same, I ask myself, is that true? Where did that come from? And is there a meaning behind it? And throughout this talk, it's always been in the back of my mind that actually, you know what? Everything I told you, forget about it. All Asians are the same. Every single one of these Asians are the same. You know how they're the same? They're all human. So it's about time we start treating them like it. Thank you very much.